Hey guys, what's up Aquarius? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. It's going to be a reading for your immediate future. The situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. Keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. So this could be your energy or the energy of the person that you're dealing with. So flip it how you need to. Also keep in mind this is a general reading. So take what's yours and leave the rest behind. This does resonate with you today. Please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, you can find that information below as well. All right, Aquarius. Advice for Aquarius for the immediate future. Thank you. All right. So you got within the next few weeks, no, and compromise, recovery is there. All right, cards for Aquarius. Cards for Aquarius, please. Oh, Someone's all up in their head. All right, the Nine of Pentacles. So automatically listen to your higher self. Know, know your worth. The Four of Wands. Wow, I mean, that's... It could be single, but things look stable. Except for the fact that, you know, somebody is all up in their head about something. Cancer energy at the bottom. Show me this Nine of Pentacles for Aquarius. So you got within the next few weeks. The Nine of Pentacles is the card of um, being single, um, being independent, especially financially. This King of Swords. Um, so that's your energy. Or it could be a person, you know, that you're dealing with. Because this is somebody really focused on their business, their money. Um, very much like in a, a work ethic right now. With the Two of Swords, the Death. Scorpio energy and the five of pentacles. It makes me feel like, you know, there could be money issues here. Um, it also could be, you know, if it's the person that you're dealing with, you trust your intuition because it feels like that's kind of blocked off, at least on someone's side here. Um, I feel like there's more to the story. Uh, I don't know if this is you or your person. I don't think someone's being very expressive right now, at least with their emotions. Um, they could be very focused on their career. Someone could be having financial issues right now. It could be a situation that kind of just feels like it's kind of came to a crossroads. Like you can't figure it out. Might have felt like it's ending. Um, somebody could have just ghosted the situation or kind of just went quiet here. Or kind of just um, maybe breadcrumbing a little bit. But it really feels like on some levels it's like I said there's there's either financial issues going on and if that's the case I don't feel like you're expressing that or this person um with the high priestess here that's about a lot of things that we keep to ourselves here so there could be some money issues or secondly you know somebody's just really went quiet with their emotions just completely turned them off like can't figure out what's going on Show me this four of wands. So if that's the case, if you know there has been money issues, you have within the next few weeks. So just hang on. Um, show me this no for Aquarius. I mean, shit, this no. Show me this four of wands. All right, so seven of wands at the bottom, nine of wands here. Somebody is pretty tired, pretty wore out. Um, pretty guarded. The Nine of Wands is the Wounded Warrior. It could just be somebody tired from from work. I mean, honestly. Um, 
but it kind of feels like almost exhausted with the situation or kind of whatever is going on right now. Because with the four of wands, that, that's about home, family, um, stability. And, you know, somebody is kind of feeling left out of that or lacking in some way. Um, like poverty or just feeling alone. Feeling, you know, like, like I said, ghosted. But the wheel is there. So that's about divine timing. Um, growth trying to move forward so it does feel like somebody is uh, show me the wheel the hermit it's it that's virgo energy it's it's kind of just like somebody wanting to be alone trying to figure things out um i'm just trying to keep it really simple here i feel like you're yeah see the knight of pentacles this is it's a slow moving process here and that could be a little bit of with the five of swords here it Because we have the Eight of Swords, it's it's almost like somebody may be resisting because of... Uh, I, I don't know. It's going to be different for each situation, but it's, it's like resisting on purpose. Things are moving forward, but with the Knight of Pentacles, slowest, they're moving forward incredibly slow. Um, and it does feel like somebody is, is kind of just really wore out the wounded warrior been through a lot here trying to push forward but it's kind of about with the hermit going within and figuring out how taking some time alone taking a breather here and i definitely feel like you know a lot of hold back with that five of swords because with the eight of swords here for the outcome that's a whole lot of worry anxiety nervousness Show me this Eight of Swords. Show me the Fool, because at least that's that's the action. So we do have compromise there, and that's your energy. So you do end up taking some type of risk here. It makes you nervous. You may, you know, try to compromise the situation. Um, you know, take a, take that leap and try to talk or open up or, you know, whatever has been, even if it's financially, um, take some type of risk. Tell me about this star. Temperance. Sagittarius energy. It feels like you're going against the grain a little bit with that full card. A little bit, um. resisting an urge and it kind of feels like it's because of nervousness like there's something that you want to go towards you 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 want to like a situation to improve here and it could just be anxiety um because with a temperance card unless you're dealing with a sagittarius that's that's kind of more just going with the flow healing um and kind of you know just waiting the sun, Leo energy. So for, yeah, see, this, for some, it's, it's money issues. For some, it's almost uh, nervous to speak up. But there is, whatever this situation is, it's, it's been ongoing for a little while. And it's been moving incredibly slow. It is moving, but it's just moving incredibly slow. And for some, it's just, um, nervousness I'm not saying for all because if this is a relationship situation somebody just went cold like you can't figure out what's going on or this person has and it's almost like but it kind of really feels like somebody in, in some situations could be really working on their money right now so it's, it's like being nervous afraid to speak up afraid to take some risks um, type thing. So, kind of just waiting. Letting things cool off is what it looks like. Alright, Aquarius. And, you know, you do have compromise here. So, um, it, it doesn't look like a whole lot of comp. Well, I mean, it's healing, but there is still 
some separation, you know, some maybe emotional, some pain there. And it could just have to do with, like I said, um, nervousness about something, worry, anxiety. So you guys, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Anything else for Aquarius? Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. You also got children. Your love life is being affected by children. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So that, you know, that there's a finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. There's a couple of ways, a couple of stories that could go with this. So I try to cover them all. Um, and this right here pretty much probably, eh, no, I ain't going to say that. But it covers probably a lot of the bases that I talked about. So things are moving, it's just incredibly slow. In some situations, it, it you know, when it says stay optimistic about your love life, playfulness to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Just This could just be nervousness and kind of wanting to take that risk, but you know, kind of held back for whatever reason. So. Like I said, a couple of storylines. Take which one's yours. All right, Aquarius, if it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that information is below as well. You guys take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye.